<clears throat> Alrighty, traders. Uh, John Halley. Listen, I want to give you... I'm just on my way to the gym. I finished all my trading this morning. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. So I've just finished all my trading this morning, done some business stuff, and now I'm on my way to the gym to do a workout. And uh, really, 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 really excited about that. But I want to give you the two reasons, the two big reasons. Two big reasons why I believe we could see a $10,000 gold by the end of this decade. And hear me out, okay? Please be open-minded to the possibility. I'm not saying this is definitely going to happen, but I'm saying that this is a possibility of this happening, okay? But here's the two big, two big macro reasons why I believe we could see, well, why I have a minimum target at least 3,000 on, on the on the uh, on gold, right? Minimum three thousand is from the cup and handle pattern that I've done in the past. Uh, so that's 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 obviously that that's obviously the three thousand there. But why we could see a five or ten thousand, maybe even more gold. Here's the thing: through um, the big thing is this, okay? As we go through the the end of this debt cycle, okay? As we go through the end of this debt cycle. Um, and there's going to be a lot of civic war, a civil war. There's going to be a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of havoc in the markets. There's going to be a lot, a lot of turmoil in the markets. Um, as we continue along through this decade, right, the big recessions and so on and so forth, and, and so on and stuff like that, inflation's going to get much, much, much worse towards the later end of this decade, I believe. Um, I believe what we're seeing right now is just the start of the of the big inflation this year. And I believe uh, gold is going to be. In fact, when I, now when I say gold guys, I also believe gold mining stocks. That's why gold junior mining stocks is, is my sort of baby, so to speak. So the very first thing, guys, is that we're getting towards the end of this debt system. We're going to be and there's a new world order, and through that, through that becomes chaos, and then from chaos becomes new order. Through that chaos, I believe people are going to be starting to run to, and as the US dollar becomes just basically worthless. Um, they're going to start to run to real money again, right? They're going to run to back to real money, which is gold. It's not, Bitcoin's not real money, okay? There's nothing value behind it. Um, so that's the very first thing I do say when it comes to that is that, uh, is the whole, where we are right now in the cycle of things, okay? Um, second thing is that the reason why I say, is the second reasons, the second reason why I say, we are likely to be heading to a ten thousand dollar gold. Is um, is the second reason is that uh, let me do this there here, and then I will. The second reason is that just give me ten seconds, guys, as I'm reversing back into this here. Uh, so the the second reason is that I believe we are going, we, we all know we're going to a digital, uh, we all know we're going to a digital currency, right? So the digital currency, if it's me in my mind, digital currency, if we've got a digital currency, it's just like the Ponzi scheme we're, we're doing right now, right? There's no difference. It's like, to me, it makes, makes, no, makes no difference, right? If it's a digital currency, where's the value in that? You know, if there's, but if there's it's paper money, like we're doing right now, the debt system, Where's the value in that, right? There's no, there's no value there. So I believe, yes, we're going to go to a digital currency. I believe we're going to go to a digital currency, but I believe we're going to have, we're going to have some value backing it again, just like we did before the seventies breaking of, just like we did before in the seventies, when we had the breaking of the U.S. dollar and the gold, right? The U.S. dollar and the gold were connected together. That's what created the value in the dollar. Then it broke. Then dollar become worthless and worthless and worthless and worthless. And we know they're going to keep printing the money. They're not going to stop keep printing money. If you think they're going to keep printing money, just look through history. History gives us 100% certainty that they're going to print the currency into oblivion. Oh, we're going to... No, no, no. You wait till you see the next QE. When we go through the next recession, the next recession, is, the, the, the next QE package is going to be three, four times as big as the one we had in COVID. So get ready for that. We're going to, cre pr 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 we're going to print it into, into oblivion. So with all that, okay, with all that... I believe that the that we get, yes, we're going to go through a new world order, which is going to create chaos, going to go from chaos to order, um, which is going to create obviously uncertainty and inflation, which is going to be gold. But the, but the big thing I believe is that gold is now going to become the value link to digital currency, just like we did back as in the seventies. We had we had paper, U.S. dollar, and gold to add the value. Gold was the value that actually add the backing to the dollar, right? 
Now we're gonna go to a digital dollar, whatever that is, I believe, and gold is going to be that backing to the value of the digital dollar. So they're the two big reasons why I see that we could see a $10,000 gold.